and welcome to the Waypoints Overview video. Before watching this video, please watch the Getting Started video for teachers to set up your classroom first. Waypoints is a formative assessment tool that tracks weekly student responses to statements derived from six SEL focus areas, self-awareness, relationships, community, agency, well-being, and energy. These statements are designed with the purpose to help you better understand the social and emotional well-being of your students. Waypoints tickets are administered automatically to your students, so you don't have to do anything except direct your students to use their devices to take waypoints every week. We suggest using a time where you and your students are together and have about five to 10 minutes to take the waypoints exit ticket. Each ticket consists of six statements answered on a scale of one to five. Every week after logging in, your students will see a waypoints exit ticket on their dashboard like this. When they click on complete, they will be prompted to answer those statements. For video on how students log in and take exit tickets, please watch the other tutorial provided to you called Student Orientation. Now, let's dig into how you can review results as a teacher. Firstly, make sure you're logged in under your teacher's school email address. Let's start by clicking on Waypoints. First, please review the Teacher Guide resource at the top of the page by clicking this button here. To view a list of the exact statements your students will be seeing, click on the link here called Waypoint Exit Ticket Statements. Let's check out this week's Waypoints questions. Scroll down to this section called Waypoint Exit Ticket Data by Week. It's currently the week of February 7th through 11th, so let's click on that Tiles View button. The first section we see is questions. You can check which questions your students will be seeing this week and what SEL pillars they are associated with. Next, click on classroom results. These graphs will populate once your students have taken the Waypoints exit ticket for this week. Don't worry if you don't see anything yet, especially if you have not directed your students to take Waypoints yet. Use the bar graphs to determine how many students in your classroom answered a certain way. For example, under I see the purpose of school and try to do my best, I see that one answered had answered a one and that four, an four students have answered a three. Let's say I want to drill down a little bit more. Scroll back up and click on student answers. Here, I can see exactly which students answered in a certain way. In the question, I see the purpose of school and try to do my best, I see that it's Wayfinder student that answered one. Waypoints can also show us trends over time. Let's go back to the dashboard by clicking here on Waypoints. This first graph shows you trends over time for each SEL focus area. Let's say I want to see how my classroom has been scoring in well-being. I can click on each of these pillars to remove them from the graph until just the trend line for well-being remains. Next, the section Class Health will list all the classes you're teaching. Class Health is the average score of each SEL pillar out of five. This time span filter allows us to compare scores between this week, last week, and also view averages over the past four weeks and more. Lastly, how does the activity library factor into all of this? As an example, let's look into Wayfinder Class A. Notice here how any average scores under two are bolded in red. This week, I'm seeing that my class scored below a two in agency, and I want to get support for them. I can do so by clicking on the support button here, which will direct us to the activity library. You'll notice that agency has already been selected for me and that we also have the filters on the left-hand side to work with. Let's say that my Wayfinder class is in grade eight and that I only want activities that can be done with my full class. I can now choose from the activities that match my filters that I think will be best suited for my class. You can also click on any activity to learn more. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at support at projectwayfinder.com or by clicking the yellow button in the corner here. Thank you.